In this lesson, I wanted to give you a very brief introduction to what uh, stroke and fill is, because if you're doing graphic design and if you're working with vectors, you will certainly come across those two terms. So if we take here our vector flower, you will see that it can be composed of two elements. The first element is the outline of this vector flower, and this is called stroke. And the second element is the inside filling of that flower, which is called fill, very logically. So essentially, when you're working with vectors, when you're creating patterns, for example, or illustrations, you can choose to create only with uh, strokes, so only with the line work. Or you can choose to work only with the fill without bothering yourself about the stroke. And then there are also some illustrators or designers who prefer to work with both. You can find all the options to change your stroke uh, or your fill in the color studio, which is here. Just click on it. The first uh, leftmost full circle is your fill. And the empty inside outline circle, which you see to the right, is your stroke. Let's have a look at this flower, which co consists only of the stroke. In this example, this is only stroke. So fill is completely empty. You will see it by identifying this icon, which is an empty white circle crossed with a blue line. This means there is no fill, but we do have a stroke. You can also change the color of the stroke. And there's also an option to use the so-called Stroke Studio, which is directly below the Color Studio here. Namely, and this is also very, very useful. I use it um, a lot of times. You can change the width of your stroke. So you can make your lines bigger or smaller. So essentially, you are working on the outline of your object. For example, we can make it super delicate and dainty. Now, let's see the flower with just the fill. In this case, our stroke is off. It's the same symbol. It's this uh, white circle with a blue line going across it. It means there is no stroke. Of course, I can switch it on. Then you will see we have a red stroke here. If you want to switch it off fast, and this is also a very handy gesture, you just um, tap on the stroke and you make the move up. So you touch it and you flip it up. So again, let's activate the stroke. If you want to de deactivate it fast, you can of course choose the symbol here to deactivate it. But it's a super handy gesture just to flip it up and it's off. And now our last example is when we have both the fill and the stroke. This flower has a blue fill and it has a red stroke. I can also change the stroke, for example, or I can make it the same. Let me show you one example when it is very handy to have both uh, the stroke and the fill. We're on the move tool here. You know very well that you can resize your flower by just dragging on the notes. But what if I wanted to change uh, just the stalks, of the, the stalks of those flowers? For example, I wanted to make them uh, a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner. If I go to my layers, you will see that I have my leaves and the stalks of those, those flowers separately. So I have my leaves selected. I go to the color studio. I make sure that the fill and the, both the fill and the stroke are on. And then I go to the Stroke Studio and I make it here bigger or smaller. So say I wanted to make it a little bit thicker. The same with the petals. I can go directly to the petals, then to the Stroke Studio, making sure that the stroke is also on. Back to the Stroke Studio. And if I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, then I can just expand the stroke. Or maybe I wanted to keep the leaves in the same color, but then the petals, stylistically, maybe I want the fill to be blue, but the stroke to be red. Maybe. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that those are the options that you have here. You can play both with 
just using the outlines, which is the stroke, just using the fill without being bothered about the stroke and without making any small mistakes that there's maybe a stroke somewhere here that you haven't noticed had a different color and then you send this work to a client and they're like, oh, what is this? This is not entirely green or blue. So you just have to make sure that the stroke is off in this case. Or maybe you want to play around with some different color combinations. Maybe you want um, the outlines to be a different color. Maybe it's just your, you know, your style of working. Then you have the option to change the stroke over here. And remember about the quick gestures. If you wanted in this flower to get rid of the stroke very fast, you just make sure that you have it selected. So sometimes you have to change from the full circle to the stroke uh, symbol. And then you flip it up and it's gone. You can do the same with the fill, of course. You can either bring it back and now you have a color. Or you can remove it by flipping up or directly choosing the icon here that will mean that the fill is empty. And those are the essentials that you gotta know about stroke and fill.